Welcome everybody. I hope you're doing very well. It's me, Final Boss Tap, and basically today we're going to be um, rigging this model here that I have beside me um, using the bones in 3ds max sorry i just had some spicy peanuts my mouth's on fire anyway let's get to it right so i'm just gonna ping my webcam off for now so you guys can see me where's he gone over here <laughs> he secrets anyway so we've got model here it's very obviously a low poly female character anyway you guys are here just to so basically, this is what we do. So, if you've got your model all built, you've got the plus sign there, go to Systems, which is the two cogs over here. Click on that, and there's an option called Bones. Now, before I go any further, I am going to turn my model inside out. And I make him see-through. Make her see-through. Oh, God, really? Can I just... Get off the bones a minute. Right, okay. Sorry. Right, so let's get this. I'm going to start with the legs. So let's start here. So like I said, click there. Click on bones. And then you get this option. Now, we're going to start the bone from here. So you click with the left click down to the knee. So click again. And then you can just move it down to the ankle. I'm going to click it here and then pull the ankle like so and then the foot like that and then the toes rough them up and then just right click at the end and that will cut it off. You can see there how that's done that and I will just turn it around so we see now we have the thigh, the shin, the ankle, the foot, the toes, and the end. So what I'm going to do now is grab all of these. Oh, apart from that, let's take away. I'm going to put it here now. Well, obviously that's not going to fit in there. So I'm going to angle it a bit. Oh, actually, let's put the snap on, snap angles. Now I'm on the completely wrong thing, and we're going to go with that one for a minute now. Let's put it in front view and make sure we're here. Now, it's looking almost perfect. Obviously, the foot's a little off. But that's that's because of my model. As you can see, my model. So, I'm also, this is what I'm going to do right now. Is I'm going to go up to here. And I'm going to select bone. Now, that will mean I don't select the model at all. Just the bones now. Um, and all I'm going to do is turn. Turn them a little bit there. Okay. Now that's okay. That that there is looking good. Now, a nifty little trick with this is I can select all the bones now. Go to animation. Go to bone tools. Click bone tools, and then you can click mirror. Now this will allow me to mirror exactly the same bone that we've just created for that leg to this leg which is perfect that's what we needed so anyway, let's minimize that a second now let's click on bones again now this time we're going to do the spine so the spine is like this so we're going to click from here well this is going to be the heart of the thing so let's click there and there 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 and then we're going to want the neck like that and then the head right to the tip I always go to the tip and then click right click okay so now you can see we got that there now what we should be doing I'm not doing it for this but what you should be doing I will just go I will just do it for for this one exactly oh hang on, I'm still in bone mode so let me click there when you're creating your bones always name them so if i go to collapse all or expand all sorry um and like this bone here now so that is the model's right thigh bone so rename right thigh 
Ah, knee. I'm just going to put and then I'm going to put I'm just going to put foot and then I'm going to put toes oh actually that, well, I'll, I'll change that one I'm going to put ankle ankle and then, oh, I've oh, gone to the wrong bit there. And then right toe. I'm going to put right foot here. And then right toes. And then f right uh, R, foot, end. And then I'm going to press enter. It's better to make sure you're um, naming these bones only because it'll save you trying to fi find out which ones they are in the long run. I might just quickly just do this for all of them. And then I'll skip through for you guys. So you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. So like I said, now it's the left thigh. Down. Left. Knee. Down. Oh, I pressed the wrong one there. Now for these, I'm going to name Spine 1, Spine 2, Spine 3, Spine 4, um, and then we're going to have the neck, and head, head, end like so now as you can see here the head is not it's not bang on is it at the minute so I'm gonna just move that across to what I believe is bang on hmm not quite I'll do I think I'll be fine. Doesn't have to be perfect. Well, it, it was better to be perfect, I suppose. I think it's because of that. I had the snap on, so here will be much better. So anyway, now we've got we've got the legs and we've got a spine and the head, which is perfect. That's what we need. Now let's move on to the arms. So we're going to click on bones again. And this time I'm going to start from here. So this is going to be a shoulder. So I'm going to click this from here. I'm clicking on the wrong... Uh, I'm doing it all the way wrong here. See this? Right. We found the issue. I was in perspective mode. Go to make sure you're in your front camera port. Now, so I'm going to build a shoulder now. So I'm going to click, click. Now this is the the main arm. I'm going to click to there. Now this is a forearm. There. So this is the hand now. To there, and then the th fingers. I'm gonna have two sets of fingers because mine are obviously like mittens, and then right click, um, just so I've got a bit more of a curl on the fingertips there. Um, and basically, again, like we did before, select all of these bones, including this shoulder bone, and I want you to go and open up bone tools. If you haven't got it down here, remember it's in animation bone tools. Um, and then basically, because we've got them selected, we're going to click mirror. Now, you can move them like this. Or you can position them yourself. Now, I think that's looking bang on, to be honest. Which is pretty cool. So, now we have our bones in our mesh. Now, I'm going to just pop that down. You can colour the bones down there as well. I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, that's irrelevant right now. Obviously, we're going to name these bones. So I'm going to just... Not that. I'm going to expand all, sorry. Um, 
I'm going to start naming the bones again. So this would be the left shoulder, left arm, left oh, forearm, left hand, left fingers, and now I'm going to put left finger tips, and then left arm end. And I'm going to do the same for these ones. So, oh, let's, before we do that, there we go. So, right shoulder. I know this is annoying that I have to name them, but it's honestly, it's a lot better if you do. Right arm, this just saves you a lot of uh, faffing about. Right forearm. Ooh. And then right hand. We like the hand, don't we? Yes. And then right uh, fingers. Right fingertips. And then right arm end. Obviously, if you were going to build um, like a monster character or anything like that, you could add more, add more spines or um, more bones or whatever is necessary. So anyway, we're going to get off that for a minute. Now, we want these thigh bones to be linked to that bone. So click on link whilst having this bone selected. This is the left thigh. So hold the left mouse click down. Link it to the bottom bone, like so. And I'm going to click on this one, and I'm going to do the same. All right. And now that is it for that. Now, obviously the arms are not <laughs> in position, but that's fine. We can move them into our model. And I'm just going to go above the model a second. Just to get them in right enough anyway. So... Would we go a little bit more, perhaps? Um, maybe a little bit back. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. It still should work the same. I mean, you can, obviously, um, if you want, rotate the forearm. You see what, I'm, see what I've done there? I've got it on. I'll tell you what I've got it on. I've got it on there. So... If I wanted to, I could just do that. So there I rotated 0.288. I mean, just to get this bang on, it's going to be quite hard, isn't it? I'll just say that, that's fine. It's going to be perfect. That's enough. Anyway, I'm going to stick that back on for a minute. So anyway, now our model has its bones inside so now we're going to go on to the skinning side obviously if I select a bone and I rotate it the bone moves but the skin's not but obviously we haven't applied the skin yet so I'm going to now select the model the mesh and we're going to go into what I will do actually I'm gonna just pop the overlay off for a minute just so you guys can see now um, so anyway, we're going to go to the Modify tab, and then I'm going to click on Skin. Skin. So we've got Skin up, but obviously the, it's still not going to work yet. So we need to add bones. So click Add Bones down here. And we want to select all of these except the ends. So Arm End. Uh, foot end. I missed another one there. Another arm end, and we've got another foot end somewhere. Where is it? Did I? I know I must have done. We got right foot end. Oh no, we got looking for left foot end there. Okay, and yep, head end. Yep. So that's all of them. So remember, we want all of them except the ends. So we select that. Now, what you're going to notice 
is if I move the arm now, you see it's pulling the polys and the head, you see? We obviously do not want that at all. That one's fine, but um, here's a way we can do that. So click on our mesh again. Now we're going to scroll down. This is how I do it. I click voxel, or right of voxel, the three dots here. And all I do is click the up arrow once. It should say 0 0.25. And I click apply. Now, when I cross this off now, we'll click on that exact same bone. And I'm going to rotate it up. There is a, you see a little bit of pull. But I just want to, I'm just going to test something here now. Now, if I go to that and then go voxel again, then I go to free. I just want to see what happens. So we have got a little bit of pull. Not too, it's not too bad. Um, but it's like the legs we want to test, really. So there's the leg up. And the leg bone down. So for me, that's okay. Obviously, there is ways of doing um, to stop that altogether, all the things, because you can go into something called edit envelopes. And here, you can see you can see where it's pulling now. It's pulling these these parts here. Now I can go into this. I you have to bear with me now because this is going to be. Um, this is going to uh, try to remind myself to do this. Now, if I take it off bone and I go, but really, we don't want any of the boob area. I'm just showing you this as a demonstration at the minute. I mean, you could have a bit of boob taken, but for this demonstration, I don't want any. Oh, here it is. Now, when I'm clicking minus, you can see that the blue color is fading now. Let's get that one as well. Now, this shouldn't. B, oh hang on, let me just grab that again. There's much pull. Let's shrink it a bit more. I'll let go of these ones. At all. So I'm just going to do this as the demonstration. So now if I come off, do I have to come off heat map? Edit envelope, sorry, edit envelope it was. Click on bone. Now I'm going to click on bone. Now remember before it was moving the boob. There's no boob movement, but I know we're getting this move. But like I said, with the same, same thing, you can change it. You'll then be able to change it. Anyway. Get your arm down. So now I just want to quickly show you guys if I can just go to wireframe. How I'm going to. I want these bones to be attached to this file. So if I go to animation, IK solvers, IK limb solver, make sure you've got the bone selected. And I'm going to click. On that one, I'm going to take it off wireframe again. Um, actually, I'm just going to have it on see through for now. Now, I'm going to click on that bone because we've got that one done already. And animation again, IK solvers, IK limb solver, and click on there. Now, when uh, we move these, when I move this leg now, now you see that. Nope, one on the wrong bit. Hang on. 
Max kind of got burned, so like, let's take the bone off. Now you see, if I zoom out, wherever I move that bone now, put that on there, and let's just get the legs back down. No, and let me just put the uh, model on. Obviously, I haven't got a skin for this model, which is fine. But, oh, I jumped off completely, didn't I? It's fiddly, but look. So now, and this is handy for walking, running, skateboarding. <laughs> but you, you catch my drift. And like I said, so then you can like actually, um, animate a bit better. Yeah. And that's all I have to show you. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Here I am. Um, if it did help, please smash that like button. It does mean a lot to my channel. Um, I will have more videos on tutorials on how to do things. Um, I do also stream games. And I am in the beginning stages of being a video games designer. So hopefully we have some actual um, games coming out eventually. That would be cool. Um, I have worked on a few games. But this is the end of the video. So please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.